let me show you how to start the LSM 900. Um, these instructions will always be in this room, typically on one of the desks. Um, so let's go through them one at a time. The first step is to log into the LSM 900 on the iLabs kiosk. I've already done that. The second step is to turn on the excite lamp and turn the intensity dial up. That's switch number one. That is under the desk, the uh, table here. You're going to hit this switch and then increase this intensity dial, which you can see by the notches at the bottom, all the way to the top. The next step is to verify that the computer is on and log in. So this computer should always be left on. You can see it is on, the monitor is on. And so we'll be able to log in. If for some reason you find that the computer is off, the on off button for the computer is down here. So if you need to turn it on, press that button. It should be on, which is the case today. We're going to log in. We're just gonna click on the screen, hit Lupin. That's the nickname for this computer in keeping with our Harry Potter theme. Uh, and the password is MSL, all lowercase. I'm gonna hit enter. <clears throat> so that's complete. The next step is to turn on the system switch, which is switch number two, and wait for five seconds. Um, the system switch is over here. You can see it's switch number two. I'm gonna turn that on, wait for five seconds. In the meantime, let me see what the next step is. We're gonna um, turn on the component switch, which is number three. So we're gonna go back here. Turn on components. The next step, step number six, is to wait. And we wait, want to wait for the FC12 definite focus box to read off. That's number four. So you can look down here under the table again. This is the FC12 or definite focus box. And we want this thing to eventually say off. That's a little bit confusing, uh, but the reason for that is it turns, the system turns a bunch of things on, and this box controls a component that's optional and it ends up in the off state after um, successful startup. So that's what's happened here. The next step, step number seven, is to select microscope on the touch screen. So you can see on um, this button that says microscope, we're gonna press that, and that will give us access to the most commonly used functions on this touch screen. The final step for startup is to start Zen. So the icon for Zen is in the top left, Zen blue. You double click on that, and the software will load. That completes the startup procedure.